Hi, hi. I'm still me, Nico. Um, right now, we're getting to the topic of stalkers. <laughs> Something I am very well versed in. Uh, when I was really young, in my mid to late teens, I was dating a real fucking psycho. And, uh, he used to follow me everywhere. I mean, he would show up at my schools. He would show up at the park when I was hanging out with my friends. He would show up at the mall when I hung out with my friends. Um, if ever I left town, because we kind of knew the same circle of people, so, like, if I left town, he knew that there were, like, 20 numbers he could call, and out of those 20 numbers, one of them would be, I, I would be there. You could just kind of deduce that that's where I would be. And so he did, and uh, he found me a whole bunch, a lot. And times were interesting. Um, but I don't think people understand what stalker really means, you know, because people nowadays use that word a lot. I understand somebody shows up on your page every day and reads your shit every day or comments or likes something or doesn't really comment on your shit but they like everything or they slip into your DMs and they talk to you or whatever every single day and you feel creeped out by it. Yeah, that's stalking behavior. But that's not quite the stalking I mean. I'm talking about the type of stalking where when you leave your building in the morning, they're standing right in front of your door. When you go do your groceries, they're walking behind you. And when you turn the corner to another aisle, they're there. And they're making a concerted effort for you not to see them, so they try to block, or block behind a, a, a rack of something or whatever. Uh, I'm talking about the, the type of person who will sit in front of your building until you get home from an appointment and they'll get up and try to walk away before you actually get to your building and you can ask them, what the fuck? I'm talking about the type of stalker who will break into your apartment repeatedly to get items of yours. A pair of pants here. A pair of boots. A towel. A hairbrush half a drawer full of underwear. I am still not over that. Different stalker, much later in life. But see, that's the thing. When when it comes to, to me, when it comes to stalkers, it's it's like they, they seem to find a way to become like super unhinged before they get to me. And then it's like, oh, well, I will use all of my super unhingedness upon you, and I will sit on the stairs in front of your apartments until one of your neighbors will allow me to crawl through your window from their fire escape so that I can steal something from you, so I can feel close to you. But then I have to find a way to get out of your apartment before you come home, but since I know that you're at an appointment right now, I've got another hour, let me take a shower in your apartment and lay down on your bed and leave a human-sized dent in it. Stalkers are always unsettling. It's always bad. It can never be good. There's just nothing, no way that a stalker can be good. It's not. But for someone to sit there and say that they are being stalked just because someone likes their photos now and again, it diminishes what a person like me goes through when they say, I have a stalker who literally breaks into my home and steals my shit. I have a stalker who literally sits in front of my building and asks my neighbors what is going on in my life because I have cut them out of my life. I have a petty stalker now who stalks their way through my, my pages. That doesn't bother me. What bothers me is the weird ones that come dangerously close to being in your space. 
or actually being actively in your space. Those are the ones that I worry about. I don't know. It just happens way too often. I guess because you live a certain kind of life and, and you know, when I came back to New York, I started doing this thing where I was living out loud and I was just posting pictures of myself all the time. I went at all the parties that I went to, posting pictures of my friends all the time. And I realized that the more pictures I posted, the more jealous they became. And so for the last 10 years, I posted almost nothing. I haven't allowed people to take pictures of me. I haven't allowed uh, any of that. Me being in front of this camera right now, I'm trying to get past that. And it's not really working very well. I'm trying. But this this is the effect that stalkers have, I think. Where you second guess everything, you question everything. And no, it's not paranoia when they really are out to get 